big wish, Terry. Give me a minute. I'm picking the best one. Okay. Just perfect. <laughs> what did you wish for? Hey, no. If you tell, it won't come true. Can we go to the fireworks later? I, I don't know, honey. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe later. You were going to make a red, white, and blue cake. Okay. Honey, I, I can make another one. Really, really, I, I don't mind. I, I can, I can make another. No, one. this is perfect. The cake is perfect. Terry, you want to cut the cake? Um, yeah. Where, where is it? It's in the kitchen. Could you get it for me, honey? It's my birthday. Terry, tell Jean to do it. No. We have time for me to take a nap. You didn't sleep well last night? Not really. I should just see them tomorrow. Why? I'm too late for Friday night dinner. I mean, we're here now. Okay. There you go. 
go. There you go. Barbecue on the 4th of July? No. I'm sorry. I, I forgot. I... It's all right. Hello? Hi. I guess he went out. Oh, my sister must be here, I guess. first, please. Where are you sleeping? Do you want to stay with us? We're staying at my apartment. The woman who was subletting left and the lease was up, so that's why I had to come back. So you didn't come back because you missed us? Well, no. Yes. Sorry. I have no illusions, Terry. Surprise you. I thought we'd get here in time for dinner. Sorry I wasn't here. I took Lily to a friend's house for a sleepover. Uh, no. Our flight was late and uh, we had the wrong company with the car rental. It was... And then I couldn't find my driver's license. You couldn't. <laughs> and then by the time we got back to my place, I just needed a nap. I... I can't believe you're actually here. <laughs> and happy birthday. So, Helen, are you the new housekeeper? Dad mentioned he might hire someone. What's wrong? Did something happen to Dad? No, he's fine. He's at his poker game. I can call... No, 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 it's okay. I'll see him tomorrow. I should go. No, I... stay. Okay, what's going on? Helen is... Sister. Half sister, actually. What the hell are you talking about? Years ago, your father had an affair with my mother. A long time ago, of course. But. This was delicious. Thank you so much. I'm glad you liked it, but if you're trying to change the subject, I don't... 
think it's gonna work. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you so much, though. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Son of a bitch. How dare he, what? How dare he bring that girl into our home? That it really wasn't her fault at all. Okay, maybe not, but it was his. And I knew it the whole time. How? I did the laundry when I was a kid. That, it could have been your mother's lipstick. My mother never wore lipstick. I, I'm on your side, Terry. You know that. You know, and I know it was difficult meeting Helen today, but I really don't think this is her fault. I mean, like, isn't it nice to find out that you had family? I, I only have Melanie. I would love to find a half-brother or sister. Yeah, and that's another thing. It'd be nice if you introduced me to Melanie. Are you hiding me? No. Do I embarrass you? No. Am I fat? No. no it what? It feels good. It feels right. My family never felt like this. We have the rest of our lives to let people screw us up. I should have gotten married in Los Angeles. It's my home now. Where are you going? I was gonna give this to your father to have with dinner. You want to open it now? Mm hmm I think it will help us sleep. Do you need a corkscrew? Nope. I'm a fan of the twist off. Mm -hmm. Lovely. I love you so much. Do you know that? I do. And I love you, too. A toast to meeting your family. How about a toast to us instead? Okay. Nice. Mm hmm? Yeah, you're pretty yeah. smart. Really? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You're cute. <laughs> that's, that's good. Funny. Well, since you're marrying me. Yeah. Yeah. What time is it? Almost 4.30. Jean called when you were in the shower. She asked if we could be there by 5.30 for dinner. Okay. Dad'll be there, supposedly. Okay. Want to help me pack? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you put those books in that box? Yeah. Terry. Yeah. Is that Hank? Fuck. I wondered where he'd been stashing them. How long was he here? The longest ten days. What are you doing here? It's not a very nice way of welcoming your only brother. When did you get out? This morning. 
10 days early for good behavior. I thought maybe I could stay with you just till I get back on my feet. Why don't you stay with Dad? I'm supposed to stay away from alcohol? He quit for you. He'd do anything for you. No, not that. Unless you ask him. Why me? You've always been his favorite. <laughs> You're shitting me. If I had a nickel for every time I heard, why can't you be more like Terry? Why can't you get good grades like Terry? I'm clean, Ter. I've been going to meetings for the past six months. You have a choice? But I'm gonna keep going this time. I just need a job and a place to stay. Please. I made coffee. Thank you. Don't smoke in here. You smoke. I'm trying to quit. Again. Here's my spare key. Just for a few days until you get settled. And this is a friend of mine who owns a restaurant downtown. I called him and they need a busboy. Busboy? Shit, Terry. Fine. Find something yourself. No, it's fine. My parole officer's downtown anyway. Take the number three bus, it's right at the end of the block. Hey, Terry, can I borrow some money? Just until I'm... No drinking, no drugs, smoke outside. Absolutely, no problem. It was great for about a week. I thought he'd really changed. But he... He started staying out later and later. He said he was going to AA meetings. Then he'd watch movies till three or four in the morning. <laughs> Shit. And one morning I got a call as I was getting ready for work. It was Jim O'Donnell, my friend who'd hired. I didn't want to call the cops, but I got to get him out of here. He thought he was doing okay. He was doing great. So great, I advanced him 500 bucks so he could buy a car, come in so he could close up for me. Hey, you tear. What you doing? Should I call your dad? No. I'm calling the cops. I stayed until the cops came and took him away. And I went to work and quit. Next day, I gave Jim the $500, changed my locks, and left. And I needed a fresh start away from my family. I didn't care where I was going as long as it was someplace else. Well, I'm happy you ended up in LA. Despite all this? Hey. Even more. They have gnomes too? Yes. Wow. This is nice. Yeah. Lily and Terry's here. Are you two? Really getting married? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> oh my god. How much did you grow? An inch and a half. I'm almost five four. Do I get a hug from my favorite niece? I'm your only niece. Details. Hi, Lily. Alex, I heard so much about you. He's cute. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh. Oops. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Stop at the bar first? Terry, <laughs> what? I thought you said he'd stop drinking. Whoop. Dad? 
And, yep. um, Mr. Malone, uh, Alex D'Amico, pleasure to meet you. You right down? Yes, sir. Is that a problem? On my mother's side, my grandmother was Venetian, I think. Oh, come here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Actually, my father's family is from uh -huh. Naples, and my mother's is from Melanese. 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 From Melanese. Milan. Milan. Yeah. Are you really moving to California, Terry? And getting married? Yes, and yes. <laughs> I know it's a bit of a rush, but we were, we were hoping for your blessing. Mm. No engagement ring. With a three week engagement, I figured we could go right to a wedding ring. <laughs> three weeks? When exactly are you planning to get married? Saturday. Saturday. Next Saturday, a week from today, Saturday. That's so fast. Well, we have to be back in L.A. for Alex's exhibit on the 23rd. Yeah, but, but I thought it was important that, you know, we have the wedding here because the family. No, Terry never asked him my permission for anything before. So I'm not sure why she would start now. Not your permission, sir, just your blessing. Oh, well, you got it. How about your family? Can they come? I know last minute tickets are expensive. Oh, my, my sister, Melanie, is my only family, and she's been studying in London for a year. I haven't even met her yet. Yeah, but when she gets back to the States, we'll have a separate celebration with her. So, how long have you two known each other? Six, Six months. months. <laughs> no, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> not that I'd mind. <clears throat> But if I'm gonna make a home with Alex 3,000 miles away, I wanna be married. And I know marriages end, or even when they don't end, stop, they can be miserable, stop. but I want that foundation. It's, it's all about the foundation. Where are you planning to have this shindig? Here? <laughs> Here. <coughs> Is that okay with you? How many people? Like 15 eight. or 20? Okay. Okay, is it? Okay, but just to let you know, we're renovating our bedroom. Okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I be a bridesmaid? You're the only bridesmaid. Okay. That's fine with me. Too. Oh, I know. You can slice these. Okay. Why do you want to marry my sister? And don't tell me it's because you love her. I was wondering how long that was going to take. And I do love your sister. I pretty much raised Terry after her mother died. Oh, I, I know. When I met Terry, uh, she had broken the heel on her shoe. She was soaking wet and completely lost. I took her inside to my studio. I gave her a cup of tea, gave her some sweats while her clothes dry. And when I came back, she was just standing there in front of my desk, and she had organized all my invoices by due dates. And she told me I needed a business manager. I hired her on the spot. You wanted to rescue her? No, no, no. She saved my ass. I mean, I'm a, I'm a good photographer, but I don't know the difference between a balance sheet and a balance beam. And she sure as hell does. I love Terry. And we're more together than the sum of our parts, if that makes any sense. You do know she doesn't cook. Yeah. But I do. <laughs> Terry, didn't you want to ask your dad something? Dad, would you give me away at my wedding? I like that. 
Do you have a wedding dress? I have a gray pantsuit. Mm, no. But yeah, no way, my baby sister's not getting married in a pantsuit. Thank you, yes, she's right. <laughs> Fine, whatever, but I don't have a wedding gown in my suitcase. I'll take you shopping. Oh boy. <laughs> no veil. Okay, I will not wear a veil. And don't you have to work? I sell real estate, remember? Or these days I don't sell real estate. No one cares if I take some time off. And you don't have to wear a veil if you don't want to. You're really going back to California right away? We have to. One of the big art galleries in LA is giving Alex his first yes. solo show. Nice. And I'm yeah. his business manager, so I have to be there too. Huh. Sounds like you've got it all figured out. Good for you. Do you live in a beautiful oceanfront mansion that I can visit? Actually, no. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tiny little house. Uh, it's really cute, though. You guys are more than welcome to visit any time. I'll get it. That's Helen. I asked her to join us. Shit. Jean, stop! I'm sick to death of tiptoeing around the things no one ever talks about in this family. No more secrets. I'm done. Is everything okay? I was just asking Lily how her appointment went yesterday. And I was about to tell her that it went fine. Appointment? What kind of appointment? Lily's had some medical issues, but she's fine. I thought you were done with secrets. What do you call that? Shit, Terry, you walk in here after two years without a word. I sent postcards. Three postcards in two years, that's all. I'm bipolar, Aunt Terry, but I'm doing okay now. I have medication and I saw my therapist yesterday. That's what Aunt Helen was asking about. Oh. Thank you for telling me. Have you heard from Hank? It's okay. You know it's a little story. Yeah, I don't really. No, I haven't heard from him since Dad threw him out of the house. Huh. Yep. Sometimes I wonder uh, if that was the right thing to do. Yeah. Or if he couldn't have done it five years earlier. I think he's kind of cute. When I was a little, I thought their eyes were watching me. <laughs> Why'd you lie? About Hank? Yeah. I don't know, maybe because I felt guilty about doing something behind Dad's back? Well, you've been living behind his back for two years now. Embarrassment? Because Hank used me too? Because I've resented him my whole life for being Dad's favorite, and now I don't know if he's alive. I don't know, okay? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Morning breath. I know. 
Mm-hmm. We got our driver's license today. Marriage license. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are you going to love me when I'm old and fat? Even more. Good. She calls her Aunt Helen. Why wouldn't she? I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Look, I love you so much. I do. I know everything's been really crazy with your family lately. But you can't just disappear and come back and expect everything to be the same. Why not? I'm the same. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> not at all. You and my Julie graduated from high school together. I still remember when your poor dear mother died. God rest her soul. Such a shock. I know, yeah, thanks. It's been a while. I've been away. Um, this is my fiance, Alex. We're getting married. On Saturday. Well, isn't that lovely? Thank you, yeah. You're not from around here, are you? Nope. Do you have a problem with that? Not everyone is from... No, but I do, I do have my birth certificate. Here's mine. Oh, it's not notarized. What? Ooh, it's, uh, it's a photocopy, not an official copy. But rules are rules, dear. Take this, read this, and when you have everything together, come on back. But. No, it's gonna be fine. You don't, you know, you don't argue with bureaucrats. But we... No, I'll call Los Angeles and I'll get this figured out. Come on. Hey, sorry I'm late. Lily's having one of her bad days, and I didn't want to leave her at home, and she didn't want to come, so I had to figure it out. It's okay. <sighs> We've got bigger problems. I have an idea. What? Just come with me. Come on! So why can't we see the plans? Well, we can't, but they're in the office manager's. Jeannie, sweetheart. How are you? I'm good, Dom. Mm. How does Belinda like the new house? Oh, she loves it. We can't thank you enough. Good. Petey, when are you going to get married so I can find a nice house for you? <clears throat> uh, Mr. Mayor, make sure you sign these papers before your meeting with the. Yeah, later, Pete. I got a lovely lady here in my office. In fact, I have two lovely ladies, and that's a special occasion. Mr. Mayor, this is my sister Terry and her fiance Alex Domingo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Okay. They're having a bit of trouble getting their marriage license. Hmm. I'll take care of it. Mr. Mayor, don't forget. I won't forget. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Mr. Mayor. Tell him I'll be there in five minutes. Okay. Gene, tell that husband of yours I'll see him in the next planning board meeting. So they're waiting for you downstairs, and you won't have any more problems. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Okay. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Good luck. All right, how'd you do that? <laughs> I got him a great, and I do mean great, rate on his mortgage. Plus, they need Steve's vote on the planning board. So you're a wheeler dealer now. Uh -huh. oh. I'll wait for you guys here. Thank, Thank you. you.
Do you ever stop chewing that stuff? Well, Alex helped me quit smoking. So, now I'm addicted to gum. Would you rather I go back to cigarettes? I think I'm gonna go take some photographs. I don't need to go dress shopping with you guys, do I, really? No. Yeah, besides, it's bad luck. Good, 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 good. Once you get lost? Sure. But, you know, that's half the fun. See you later. Yeah. Bye. Mm. Bye. Bye. OK, we have to meet Lily at La Belle Boutique, but I think we've got time to go to the post office. Oh, and the dry cleaners. No. Good. You don't like any of these? No, they're not. They're too... Thanks, they're just not what she's looking for. Let me see if I might be able to find some more dresses that you might like. Do you like this dress, Aunt Terry? You look beautiful, Lily. beautiful in it. Can you find something for me? This is starting to feel hopeless. Yeah. <laughs> it's awful. I actually look like a snowflake. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Do it again. Glad you like it. Let's get the hell out of here. I suppose you and Alex have considered living in New Jersey. It'd be so nice to have you back here. LA is our home, Jean. Wishful thinking, I guess. Small town life is not for me. Everybody knows too much. Oh, there goes Terry Malone. Poor girl, do you know her crazy mother killed herself? People here care about each other. Bullshit, they just don't have anything else in their life to talk about. And the gnomes. These goddamn garden gnomes are everywhere, and I hate them. The gnomes. You hate the gnomes. Yeah, it's like some bizarre secret society. All the women get married, <laughs> buy a house, and get a gnome. Or four. Their eyes follow me. I've never understood. I was tired of working so hard at being a 
good girl that I had no idea of what I actually wanted. What did your therapist say? She said you can't run away from your problems. But if you really hate it here, leave. Once I left here, the nightmare stopped. You did a good job at the high school. I was talking to Principal Myers at the last PTA meeting, and he said- Okay, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I hate having people know my business. Besides, I hated teaching. You never told me. Yes, I did. You just didn't listen. I'm sorry. I never meant for you to be unhappy. I know. Are you okay? <sighs> Is Lily okay? Lily's okay. She's a good therapist. And the medication today is so much better than the crap they gave Mom. I just don't want her to have to go through anything like what Mom did. Mom killed herself because Dad was drunk and screwed any woman in town who would have him. Bullshit. Okay, you're just mad, but that's Damn not right. why I'm she killed mad. herself. I'm mad that he is a drunken SOB who ruins everything he touches. Like that goddamn franchise of his? Years to open it and months for it to go bankrupt. Hank, with the drinking. He is the reason mom killed herself, okay? He may as well have hung the rope. Oh, come on. What? We gotta go see Aunt Mary. Why do we need to go see Aunt Mary? You have to stop acting like mom was a saint and dad is the devil. You're gonna learn it's never black and white. And on that subject, even though I know it's none of my business... What? Are you sure you know what you're doing? I mean, Alex seems like a nice guy, but how much do you really know about him? You'd hate to see me make a mistake, right? Right. You're kind of rushing into this. And you're the expert on that, right? How long did your first marriage last? Six weeks? Fuck you. Fuck you, too. You know, Joey might have been... An Joey asshole. was an asshole. Okay, no maybe fine. about it. He was an asshole, but he's the reason I have Lily, and she is the best thing that's ever I happened know. to me. I know. I love Lily, and too. And Steve is the second best thing. He's always treated her like his own daughter. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Come on, I haven't seen Aunt Mary in a long time. pizza guy. No, I don't think so. We're uh, here to see our Aunt Mary. Sure, come on in. Okay. Mary, you got visitors. Oh, girls! I wasn't expecting you. Tommy, honey, can we finish this up tomorrow? Sure. Call me. Sorry, I should have called first. We can come back another time. Oh, absolutely not. I can finish drawing him tomorrow. Isn't he beautiful? You're an 
incorrigible. I know. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> on your engagement. I can't wait to meet your fiance. How did you know? My friend Julie issued the marriage license yesterday. The wedding is Saturday at Jean. Yeah, Julie told me. Can you come? It's only going to be immediate. Family. Oh, I wish I could. But I'm the entertainment chairwoman at the senior center, and I planned our trip to Atlantic City on Saturday. I really do need to be there. Sorry, you'll miss it. Now that's the pizza guy. How's Lily? Pretty good, I think. That's sort of why we're here. Please, help yourself. No, no, thanks. We had lunch earlier. I think Terry needs to understand. Not your mother? Yeah. She still blames Dad for Mom's death. For suicide. Yeah. Okay, don't sugarcoat it. Mom didn't just die. She killed herself. On my birthday. That's what I blame. Maybe I should have talked to you before. A long time ago. It was hard for me too. I always felt like I should have been able to save her. Took me years of therapy to realize you can't always really save people. You're in therapy? Oh, yes. Your mother's depression started when she was young. We didn't call it that, though. We called it Lucia's Moods. Dinner's ready, and Mom wants us to set the table. Talk to Sister Mary Alice. And you're right. She's she's nice, but she can't help me. She keeps teasing me. They all make fun of me. Just ignore them. Yeah, I try, but Lucia! Go help your mother. The more Lucia withdrew, the angrier father got. Sometimes she disappeared for hours at a time. One time she was gone for two days. Where did she go? We never found out. My well, father wasn't evil. He thought Lucia was just lazy. I knew it was more than that. When after a while, I mostly ignored her. No one ever took children to psychiatrists in those days. Didn't the teachers do anything? Oh, well, some of them tried. But Dad was... traditional. Is Lucia in trouble? She's a good girl, sister. Lucia isn't in trouble. I'm just a little concerned. She seems depressed, almost like she's not even here. I'd like to refer her for testing. What's the matter? Is she sick? Not physically. And what are you going to test? Lucia might have some emotional or psychological problems. If she's not sick, she's lazy. Come on, let's go. I'll talk with her sister. Thank you. I thought it would get better when she started college. Oh, she was always artistic. And I figured she'd meet more people like her and be happy. We were just more of the same. She had no friends. She disappeared. She missed more and more classes. And then she met your father. He swept her off her feet. <laughs> the only time I ever saw her truly happy. You knew she was pregnant when they got married. No. 
guess I should have done the math. Maybe I sort of knew. Oh, they didn't marry because they had to. They were so in love. I've never seen this picture before. There was a copy of it in the living room, but Mom broke it during one of her fits. Dad carries the folded up picture in his wallet. Your mom had postpartum depression before anyone called it that. That's the first time your mother was... Institutionalized. I knew she'd been there, but... I didn't know the first time was before I was born. Yes. I brought Jean here. Your father was working and couldn't take care of her. He agreed it was for the best. How long was she there? Three months. Where's Jerry? I want to see my husband. Get the hell away from me. You try to kill me, all of you. Just calm down, Lucia. Feel a pinch, that's all. <laughs> Yes, She seemed to get better briefly, but after that, it was a constant cycle. She got worse after you were born, Terry. And after Hank, she really started to deteriorate. So what are you saying? Oh, honey, you have to understand. Your mother's chemistry was just never right. And pregnancy made it worse. Around that time is when she was actually diagnosed as being bipolar. That's why I've been talking about Mary so much. I want to help Lily in every way I can. You remember the fights your mom and dad used to have? A little bit. Leave me alone. I want to be by myself. I tried, your father tried. The kids spent a lot of time with me, you know, whenever your mother was in the hospital. I think that's part of why your father pampered Hank. By the time he came along, your mother just didn't have much to give. I've always been jealous of Hank, but I thought it was because he was the only son. That might be a little right, but I think Aunt Mary's right. I always loved coming here. I never was much of a cook. It <laughs> 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 never seemed to bother you kids. It was like going on vacation for us. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, you have to understand. You're your mother stopped being a wife to your father long before she died. 
I don't mean just sexual, but as a companion, someone he could share his life with. He never would have left her. But there came a time when he needed to have someone else in his life. Emmer, I wanted to ask you, did you know about Helen before I did? Yes, I knew. Well, your father wanted someone to know in case anything happened to him. He sent checks regularly, and he wanted to make sure that they continued. And the drinking? When did that start? I don't know exactly. He always drank more than was good for him. And the worse your mother got, the more he drank. But this is what you need to know, Terry. Your father did not cause your mother's mental illness or her death. I guess it just got too hard. And one day she couldn't do it anymore. She loved Joel very much, though. I do know that. You don't think I'm like her, do you? Because of the way I left? No, I don't. I don't. We've all got problems, honey. But when things got impossible here, you went somewhere else and built a new life. That is healthier than anything your mother ever did. And I say that with all love for my sister. Congratulations again on your wedding. Yeah. Sorry, I'll miss it. Who'd you get to officiate? Oh, shit. I knew I was forgetting something. Well, figure it out. Oh. <laughs> Some role model. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Will Dad be home at this hour? Nope. I'd try Lucky Seven or Donnelly's. Those are his two favorite bars these days. I'm just glad he's working again. I know. Hey, Christy. Carrie Malone. Damn, it's good to see you. I heard you were back. How's it going? Pretty good. Old man McGuire retired to Florida last summer and I bought the place. Right after I became a citizen. It's been quite a year. Good for you. <laughs> We're trying to modernize, you know, expand a bit. We serve lunch now? You're a wild woman. <laughs> Some of the guys threatened to leave and never come back. That lasted about a week. Was my dad one of them? He was the ringleader. Now he's my best customer. On me. Thanks. I needed this. <laughs> Has he been in today, my dad? No, not today. Try Donnelly's. I know he hangs out there a lot when he's not here. Thanks. I will. What about Hank? 
Has he been in it all lately? No. Haven't seen him in a couple of years. Thanks for the beer. Pleasure. Hey, cutie, where you going? Bobby? I didn't see you. When did you get back? Uh, two months ago. Sit. Sorry, I have to go. Come on, please. been five years six yeah since uh the night of the senior prom yeah, yeah. when you dumped me only because joni told me you were gonna dump me <laughs> i beat you to the punch yeah <laughs> yeah christy i'll have another beer and uh give bobby whatever he's drinking on me Just suddenly remember you had a husband? Because I'll wait for you to divorce him. No, I don't have a husband. Do you not want to move to California? Because I, I thought you liked it there. I mean, we could work something out. We could split our time between the East and West Coast. No, no, that's not it. It's me. It's my family. Okay, we're nothing but trouble. All of us, and I'll ruin your life the way my mother ruined my father's life. And I love you, and that's why I can't marry you. What happened? What happened? If you don't. Uh, an IED, improvised explosive device. It uh, went off underneath our hum. I made it back. Tim and Javier did. I'm sorry. Hey, Terry, I'm um, I'm really glad I ran into you because uh, I've been wanting to tell you that I understand now. Understand what? Remember when we were going out in a high school and, I remember yeah well um and you were having those dreams I mean that that nightmare you still get it when I come back here and when you got when I got pregnant yeah when you got pregnant and you said you were too 
you know, screwed up to have a kid. Uh, I don't know how I put it quite like that. But yeah, I was in pretty bad shape. It was hard after my mom died, you know, I could barely take care of myself. I didn't get it. Sorry. As I do now. You said, um, that you kept dreaming about when you found your mom? Hanging? Now, now I dream about the explosion. Over and over and over again. Except this time it's like a split second sooner. And I, and I think to myself that maybe this time they'll live. You know, maybe I can save them. And, and it's, it's not about my face, you know, because I'm here. I'm here and they're not. And I keep dreaming it. And dreaming it. And it won't go away. When I moved away, the nightmare stopped. Yeah, well, I've left Iraq and... And it still comes. At least now I know I'm not the only one. Yeah, I know. Now you see how screwed up I am. Okay, if I had married Bobby and had the baby the way he wanted, he never would have gone to Iraq. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you, uh, you give yourself way, way too much credit. Don't you understand? Yeah, I, I, perfectly. I mean, if you did marry him, maybe some horrible thing could have happened. And maybe he was meant to go to Iraq, I don't know. But it's not your fault or your responsibility. What if I'm crazy like my mother? What if these nightmares are how it started for her? And, and you really think that I'm that same too? You should have seen that way. You see this? Yeah, that's from when you got spiked sliding into second base. No. I lied. The scars from when my grandfather beat me. After uh, my parents died in a car accident, we moved in with him. He was our only surviving family. My grandmother had died the year before. I mean, he loved us, but you know, it's hard taking care of two kids just running around all the time. And the only way he knew how to discipline us, it's, you know, to beat us. Alex. No, I, I, it, it's totally fine, hon. He did what he could. You know, if, if I hadn't gone there, I, I don't know where I would have ended up. So don't think you're the only one with demons, because we both have plenty. And they're probably gonna raise their ugly faces up, and I'd, I'd be lucky to face them with you. <laughs> so Terry Malone, will you marry me on Saturday? I will. Sure. <laughs> Um, let me get three. No, no, no. Make it four. Of those baguettes. All right. They're fresh today? Yep. Marco baked them fresh this morning. Okay. Excuse me. Marco Ryan? Marco! Why? Somebody here for you! Hey, hey. Jerry! How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you? Uh, I can't complain. Good uh, listen, right? <laughs> Listen, this is my daughter, Terry. Hey. All right, now she's getting married. Gentani, huh? <laughs> May you live a hundred years, huh? Thank you. I'm gonna make you the most beautiful wedding cake you ever seen, huh? Okay, thank Give you. me the wedding book. Come, okay. Mm. So, uh, that's... You got a coupon? Uh, uh, yeah, every Valentine's Day I send out coupons. Buy a three-tier cake, get the fourth one for free. So, you have a coupon? Hey, I got you, bud. Hi, thank you, thank you. It's a coupon for seedless rye. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want, seedless rye. 
She's going to give you a seamless ride over there. Oh. Okay. No coupon. I'm still going to make you the most beautiful wedding cake you've ever seen. All right. My friend Jerry here takes care of my car 20 years now, huh? Now, I make his daughter the most spectacular cake, huh? Magnifico. <laughs> okay, so, when's the happy day? Saturday. 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 Will you insult me? What? You come to me at the last minute? What happened? Boy, you went to Jean the French Man across oh, town? Come hey? on. Now. He made you a lousy cake. Now you want Marco to bail your ass out? Never. Huh? I am an artist. I, I'm not a butcher or a shoemaker. You're the first person I came to. You're the, the only person I, I came to with this. It's just like a last minute kind of thing. All that noise. I'm an artist, you know? I know, Marco, I know. Just a simple sheet cake. That's all. Sheet cake? A sheet cake is a shit cake. You might as well get a tray of cookies. A sheet cake is not a wedding cake. I bet you'll make it beautiful. Just vanilla. Okay? Okay. That's what you want, that's what you get. Thank you, Mark. Saturday. How many people? 15 or 20. <laughs> sure. Well, that was the night that I... I fell in love with a roller derby. That's true. And I said, look, I just dumped the box here. I don't know. Lou makes a lot of sense. Is everything set for tomorrow, Tara? Yeah. Dad and I took care of the cake. So I think we're all set. Except oh, we, we still don't have. Yeah, someone, someone to officiate the wedding. Oh. This may just turn into a reception without a wedding. Reception's the. That's the icing on the sheet cake. Wonder who that could be. I think that's the minister now. I thought we didn't have a minister. I thought we didn't have a minister either. That all changed. May I present to you the Reverend Helen Azzolini. Ta-da! <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Thanks, Steve. It was his suggestion. That's what I do. I was ordained a Unitarian minister last month. Oh. I know. Never asked what you did for a living. You look beautiful, Aunt Harry. You do too, Lily. Where's your bouquet? I don't have one. Yes, you do. You're beautiful, Jean. Thank you. You've been absolutely wonderful this week, both of you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Alex seems like a great guy. I hope you'll be very happy together. isn't here. What do you mean he's not here? He said he'd be here by 11. It's 12.15. I've been to all his favorite places. Nobody's seen him. You know, Dad. He always says he's going to change. It's different this time, but he never changes. He's probably passed out drunk in some new dive we haven't found yet. Sorry, Terry. I really thought I could find him for you. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well. Steve, would you give me away, please? Yeah. Yeah, I would be honored. Come here. Get some rest. Let's <laughs> <laughs>
Do you, Teresa, take Alex to be your husband, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, for as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you, Alex, take Teresa? He does. <laughs> <laughs> You're family, Terry, but I still need to hear it from him. I do. I de definitely do. <laughs> Then by the power vested in me by the state of New Jersey, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> For service above and beyond the brother in law standard. I'm glad Thank I could you. be of help. It's a lot more exciting than the weekly golf game. <laughs> <laughs> With thanks. Oh. <laughs> and apologies for my bitchiness. Your first wedding. <laughs> to my invitation. I guess it got lost in the mail. You must be Hank. I'm Alex. I'm your new brother-in-law. I want to kiss the bread. I, I don't think It's you. okay, Alex. It's okay. My dad, either, huh? Or is he hiding? Oh, dad, are you in there? Come on out. Oh, let's, no. go. let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, I'll call a buddy of mine. Have him drive him back to the shelter where he's been living. You knew where it was? Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. She knows, but she doesn't want to know. You know what I mean? You know? I got it. <laughs> Welcome to the family. It's not a real gift. It's more of a out with the old and with the new symbolic kind of thing gift. Open it. Lift the box. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Kill it. Really? 
break it. Shatter it. It's the end of things that made you unhappy in the beginning of your life together. Do it. I love it. Just won't let me be. 